Let us study about field of view of an observer in plane mirror. Basically, field of view of an observer is the region which observer is able to see inside the plane mirror or for all the images formed in the plane mirror. Let's consider an example to understand the same. Say we are given with a plane mirror AB, and in front of the mirror, say there are three object planes, point objects O1, O2, and O3. And as we know, corresponding to every object, there will be an image produced at the same distance behind the object at which behind the mirror at which the object is placed. So corresponding to I1, I2, corresponding to objects O1, O2, and O3, three images I1, I2, and I3 are thus produced. Here we can take. Uh, this object distance O3 is same as that of image distance. Similarly, for object distance of O2 is exactly equal to its image distance O3. And here for object distance O1, the distance is same as that of the image distance I1. Now, in this situation, say at this location, we have an observer located who is looking into the mirror. Then we wish to find whether this observer will be able to see all images or not. For this, what we can do is the observer side we can join with the edges of the mirror and we can extend these lines behind the mirror. Now, in this situation, you can see if image I1 and I2 are there within this region, you'll be able to see the images I1 and I2 because actually the light rays which are appear to be coming from I1 and I2 will be lying in the range of uh, this observer's field of view, which is denoted by this uh, shaded region bounded by the lines which are extended. Which are extensions of line joining the edges of mirror with the observer side. Now, in this situation, as I3 is outside this region, no light ray which is reflected from the mirror and which appear to be coming from I3 will incident into the eye. So, here we can say this is the region which we term as field of view of observer. Indirectly, we can see if uh, this is the region in which all virtual images are formed and the observer looking into the mirror, then mirror is behaving like a window through which observer can peep into the virtual world where all the images which are within the line of sight uh, of uh, the lines joining observer eye to the edges of mirror, those can be seen by the observer. So, this region in which all images are formed, we can call as virtual world in which all uh, virtual images are formed. And here we can write down a note that uh, for an observer, a plane mirror. Behaves like a window to virtual world. Let's continue the discussion with the help of a realistic situation on the next sheet. Let us continue our discussion for mirror acting as a window to virtual world. To understand this concept, let's have a look on the situation, which is a picture of a room. In which there are several objects like a fan, a lamp, a flower pot, a chair, and a boy is standing in the room. And in front of the boy, in on facing wall, a mirror is hanging. And as we have studied that, irrespective of the size of the mirror, the whole room can be considered as object, and the image correspondingly obtained inside the mirror. For the whole room, along with all the objects, so this is the virtual world which is obtained as image of everything in front of the mirror. Now, in this situation, if we just draw the field of view of uh, this boy, we are considering as our observer. 
by joining his eye to the edges of this mirror then the shaded region is obtained by extending the edge lines here we can see all those objects which are there within this field of view the observer is able to see those or all those images which are there in the field of view is able to see these but here you can see that the ceiling fan image is not in the field of view of observer so he will not be able to see the ceiling fan and if he wishes to see that he needs to slightly bend up on and gets closer to the mirror due to which now you can see as field of view changes and now the image of ceiling fan is in the field of view observer he is able to see so here we can see he is able to look everything inside the virtual world as if he is looking it through a window which is acting as a plane mirror or the plane mirror is acting as a window to the virtual world it is the same phenomena like we are standing in a room and from the window we are able to see the outside world so to increase the outside view we need to get closer get closer to the window similar to this in the situation if the observer wishes to see more objects in the virtual world he needs to get closer to the mirror which is acting as a window to virtual world